This is Code.org. Let's see what we're doing. The painter has a new job, and they need help painting the lines on each side of the taxis to help manage traffic in the neighborhood. That's nice of us. Import your Painter Plus class from your backpack. Guys, if you don't have this, you're going to have to, you want to check back and make sure you've done the earlier bubbles. They also provide it here. You can copy it over. I do have it. Backpack, Painter Plus, and import. Ta-da! Cool. All right. To do, write the Traffic Painter class and the method paint lines to paint lines next to a taxi. All right, so first thing we need to do is click way up here on new file because a new class needs a new file. New file, I'm going to write exactly like they have, traffic painter, and I leave dot Java. Let me double check my spelling because it's gonna be important and create. Okay, write the traffic painter class to be a subclass of painter plus. So I am gonna head over to my painter plus. I doubt, and I often don't, remember every tiny little detail how to make a new class. Thankfully, we have resources. This is a great reference. I'm going to do copy, head over here, guys. I'm going to highlight all of this and do paste. Now, I know I need to closing bracket here, and I know this isn't called Painter Plus. This is called Traffic Painter. This has to absolutely match this exactly, but no, not Java. Now, this doesn't extend. It's not extending from Painter. It's not built on top of Painter. It is going to be a subclass of Painter Plus. The cool thing about being a subclass of Painter Plus, that means Traffic Painter can do everything Painter Plus can do. But since Painter Plus is a subclass of Painter, it can also Traffic Painter do everything Painter can do. All right, so this is our method. We have our access modifier, uh, the type, the declaration, and that it's a subclass. All right, then. Write method paint lines with the parameter string color to have a painter object paint a line if, if there's a new taxi. Is a, is a next, if, if it is next to the taxi. So I'm gonna start with a quick comment, paint line if next to taxi. And now I'm gonna dive into my method here. A few things about this. We're going to start with our method signature. It's a fancy way to say where you name your method. I'm going to write, let me make sure they don't give us more info. Choo, 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 choo. Okay, nope. So I'll do public, um, which is the access modifier. We can use this anywhere. Void. And then that means I'm not returning anything, not a number, nothing like that. And paint lines. And then parentheses, and now we're using what's called a parameter, and that's where this thing goes, string color. So I'm going to write that in between my parentheses, make sure you capitalize the word string, and now I'm going to go ahead and do bloop, bloop. There we go. Okay, now I need to figure out what goes inside this. To have the painter object paint a line if it is next to a taxi. How would it know if it's next to the taxi? Let's see what they tell us here. Oh, okay, so we're not checking if it's next to a taxi. We're seeing if the painter can move. So they are giving us a hint here with pseudocode. As long as our painter has paint, so while, and then I'm gonna say my painter's name is Fred, right? So Fred dot uh, has, you do not need inside of a class itself, the object, right? We can directly call the methods in painter plus and painter, which means, uh, I'm going to use can has paint, has paint. And if you're not sure if that method exists, I often forget what's there. Documentation, head to your painter class, and it will let you know. Or head to your painter plus class, of course, that's right here. And you can check what you have available to you. Okay. So that being said, well, the painter has paint, and this is a loop. Everything inside of my loop is going to keep repeating as long as this is true. So what do we do if we have paint? Well, let's go back to the pseudocode hint stuff they gave us. So as long as we have paint, and guys, use your resources. They're giving this, us this for a reason. No shame in using it. Uh, as long as I have some paint, I want to know if I can move east. So that's going to be an if statement. If can move, and we recently learned that we can have this method and we can put east in it. And again, documentation. Painter class, or go here and you can check where if these things exist. All right, so can move east is going to be in quotes and it's lowercase. So as long as I can move east, what do I do? Oh, well, I'll move. Ta da! Now, 
Then I would paint. So if I move east, I move. Notice though that they don't line this up. They do line this up, meaning regardless of if I can move, I'm still gonna paint. Now what color, you might be tempted to write in a color directly, except we're gonna use the parameter up here and just pass in whatever value is there. Okay, now there's another if statement. If the painter can move forward, hmm, forward, interesting. How we do that, guys, let me actually go to the documentation. I'm gonna pop it out. How we do that is, I'm gonna look for can move. Notice we can add east, right? We can add a parameter here, a direction. However, we can also not returns true if there's no barrier directly in front of us. So that will work great. Let me, whoop, goodbye. And so if can move, this time without a parameter, boop, 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 what am I gonna do? I'm gonna, once again, move. So this is looking good. Paint color, if I can move, move. Uh, let me hit run. Even though I don't have all the code uh, done, I wanna make sure there's no errors as of yet. Yep, that's looking good. I can also, guys, uh, if I want to make this look nice, I could always do a multi-line comment, right? We have learned this, where it's something like this. Um, and I can add more detail. You do want your comments to make sense. That being said, this, I believe, is looking good. And now what we need to do, head back to this guy, and actually get the functionality that we need. So first, I need a painter. So I'm going to go ahead and actually, I need a traffic painter. So I'm going to go ahead and do my painter. This time is going to be called Trey. Trey the traffic painter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or actually Trudy. I knew a Trudy. Trudy the traffic painter. Perfect. New traffic painter. So now I've instantiated that, except where am I going to start? I believe up here. And guys, make sure you test this up. Oh, and I already did something wrong. New. Yep, and so now I want to move forward as far as I can. Let's see if we have a method for that. Move fast will already do that for us. Perfect. And then it looks like I have some paint here, so let's see if we have a way to take all the paint. Oh look, take all paint. Now if you don't have some of these, you could add them or go and get their uh, existing Painter Plus class here. They're existing. All right, I have all the paint now, and... I'm gonna wanna start painting right away. Keep in mind, so let's see if this is gonna be good. If I can move east, move. East is this way, so I can't move east. Else, paint. So it looks like this will work fine. Let's just test this out. I'm gonna need to do a right turn. And now I'm going to try to use my new method and see if I break things. Oh, I need a color. Their example has white. I'm going to use white. Awesome. That's working super well. So now I'm going to need to turn left, it looks like. And now I should be able to, since this method says first, if I can move east, move east. Oh, except I'm going to be painting after that. Uh, so that's not what we want. Okay, so I'm going to use the move fast method again. Perfect. And now, look, I can do take all paint. Left turn. And now I can use paint uh, lines again. But uh Now, guys, there is more one way to be right. Maybe you don't have all this functionality. If you do, you should probably use it. But honestly, if you did this, right, like wall, instead of take all paint, like I ran here, you might have it like this, right? If your program functions, it's a correct method. It's, it's a correct program. However, you should make maximum use of your resources. So depending on how I'm feeling, I might take off points if you have code available to you and you do it the hard way. Keep it in mind. But yeah, let's make sure. But ah, uh, onward.